Good morning, Lamb. It is a real thrill to be here. Thank you so much for having me. You may or may not know, but I have an exhibition booth down there. I got to chat with quite a few of you yesterday. One individual had a very interesting thing to say. He said, you know, I've been in the business 30 years. I went through the economic slump in the 70s, the dot-com crash, the 9-11 dip. He said, I know, I know that this is temporary. We're going to come out of this. I know it, but I have trouble feeling it. That feeling it part is your subconscious mind. That feeling it part is where that vision is. How do you get that feeling part? How do you get that information into your subconscious? You know in your own team, the heavy hitters, the high performers have got that drive, have got that focus. I'll tell you what I think they're doing. I believe they're hypnotizing themselves to be a success. I believe successful people are hypnotizing themselves to be a success. They don't call it that, of course. They don't say, you know, I practice self-hypnosis for five minutes every night before I go to bed. They usually don't say that. But if you listen to them, they're telling you what they do. They'll say, I started out 10 years ago, you know, didn't have much money, didn't have that much of an education, but I had a vision, I had a dream, I could see myself doing well in this business. I remember first day I went to work driving around that clunker of a car, but I used to cut out pictures of Mercedes. There's the Mercedes out in the driveway. There's the home I knew someday I'd be living in. I knew someday I'd be in that position in the firm or I'd own that company. They all started with a picture in the back of their mind. And like writing your goals down, they don't do it once. They don't sit there once and form this picture. Every day they're working on it. Right before they go to sleep, they spend a few minutes building that picture. Maybe right after they wake up in the morning, a few minutes during the day, they'll sit down and you see them. They're locked in thought. They are hypnotizing themselves. They have a very clear, very bright, very vivid picture, and they continually build on it. They are the visionaries in our culture. What they're really doing, I believe, is hypnotizing themselves. And I would like to demonstrate that to you. I'm sure some of you are wondering what these chairs are doing up here. If you have not already been told, well, in a few moments, I'm going to bring some of you up out of the audience and demonstrate this amazing power to visualize. If you have never seen someone hypnotized up close and personal, fasten your seatbelts because you're about to see something that is truly fascinating. But everything I do carries with it a message. I'm going to do my best to explain to you exactly what it is you're seeing when these people come up here and get hypnotized and how what they are experiencing is so very similar to some of the things you experience in your personal as well as your business lives. There's a message here. Would you please close your eyes down tight? I'm gonna ask you to take two or three deep breaths with me now just to relax a little bit. Take a nice deep breath, breathe in deeply. When you exhale, exhale all the way down. Observe what happens when good visualizers begin visualizing other things. Take a deep breath one, would you Suzanne? Beautiful, sleep. There you go, loosen up all the way down, deep and relaxed. How about you, sir, you ever been hypnotized? <laughs> Would you pick a spot and just look at it? Beautiful, sleep, sleep, all the way down, deep, sleep, sleep, loosen, limp, loosen, isn't that amazing? Hey, I gotta ask you a question, if you wouldn't mind right there. I can't see, first name is Bunny? Bunty, are, are you hypnotized now, Bunty? Be honest, you think so? Good, because you are, sleep way down deep, loosen, limp, relax, oh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Sleep way down deep. How are you doing? Sleep way down deep. Blue slim, blue slim, blue slim. Sleep, blue slim, sleep, blue slim, blue slim, blue slim, blue slim, deep, 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 deep. And sleep way down deep. Isn't that remarkable, Ivory? Sleep, 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 sleep way down deep, way down deep. <laughs> blue slim, limp. relax in a while. That. <laughs> That's emotional control, man. I'll tell you, if I walked up to you and said, only the person who showed I'm touching funniest thing in the whole wide world, 10 times funnier, 100 times funnier, 1,000 times funnier, the funniest thing in the whole wide world. Could you laugh like that? That's turning an emotion. That's very impressive. Let me tell you what impresses me more. Sleep. That impresses me more. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Here's the message. Perhaps you work with someone in your team or one of your employees that irritates you, or you know, the good qualities, great salesperson, but just an irritating part of their personality. You don't get along with that. You can tamp down that negative emotion. Maybe you have a fear of growing or a fear of going out and trying new strategies because you're afraid you might fail. You can see yourself becoming confident and strong in the business. You have more control over the emotional aspects of your life than you've been led to believe. If you take an emotion and visualize it using self-hypnosis, you can often increase certain emotions and 
and decrease others. Someone got you a six inch man wearing a tuxedo. He's going to be standing on your shoulder and he's going to be singing love songs into your ear. You're going to see this guy. You're going to hear every song he sings. You're going to be the only one that can see him. You can see him clearly. But that six inch man is going to be singing love songs to you when I reach number five. And at the count of five, only the person who showed I'm touching deep sleep. Very deep, very deep, very deep, very deep, very, very, very deep. In a moment, ma'am, I'm going to remove your right shoe. I'm going to take your right shoe or your right boot off. As I remove your right shoe, I want you to use your incredible imagination. As the shoe comes off your foot, I want you to imagine that shoe is being erased from your mind. Three, two, one. That shoe is gone. Sleep, deep sleep, deep sleep. That shoe, that boot is gone, been totally erased from your mind. Deep, 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 deep. Now squeeze tight, 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 tight. That's been erased, totally eradicated from your mind. When you open your eyes at the count of five, first thing you'll notice, you're refining it. You cannot experience that shoe in any way, shape, or form until I come up and touch your forehead again. That shoe is gone until I touch your forehead. Let that suggestion sink into your mind. Only the person who showed her I'm touching deep asleep. Very deep, very relaxed, very deep, very relaxed. Count of five, when you open your eyes, sir, first thing you're going to notice, you become incredibly thirsty since you've been sitting up here. Man, are you thirsty? You're going to ask me for some water. I'm going to give it to you, but when you go to drink it, you'll discover you can't remember where your mouth is. Can't find your mouth. Get thirstier and thirstier by the second, will not be able to locate your mouth no matter how hard you try until I touch your forehead. Your mouth is gone until I touch your forehead. Count of five, sitting up straight in the chair, eyes wide open, responding to your suggestions, feeling fantastic. One, two, three, four, five, sitting straight in the chair. Eyes wide open, give these folks a round of applause. Eyes wide open now, these guys are great. And here we go. How's everybody? Oops, I'm so sorry, man. Excuse me. You okay? I want a drink. What do you want? I want a drink. Are you thirsty? Yes. I'm sorry, so your first name was? Chris. Woo. I happen. I talked to Chris. Your first name? Moo. I'm sorry, so your first name Moo. is? Moo. It's got to be an odd sensation, huh? You can't, you can't get your hands apart? Try as hard as you can. Tell you what, I'll give you an advantage, sometimes a little leverage, see if that maybe helps you out here a little bit. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> I want to drink it so bad. <laughs> come on, man. I can't drink it. You can't drink it? Honest? I cannot drink it. Hey, come on, come on. Do you have any young kids? I do. You do? You ever played a game? There's a couple young kids in my household. You say, these are your ears, this is your nose, these are your eyes. Yeah. Where, where's the mouth? <laughs> where's your eyes? Nose, ears, mouth. <laughs> hey, happy birthday to you, sir. How's it going over there? It's great. It's you know, it great. What, what are you, what are you, I see you snapping your fingers. What are you snapping your fingers to? There's somebody singing music in my ear. <laughs> well, take a look. See if you can find her. What, where, what can you see? It looks like a six-inch like six man on my left shoulder. What song is he singing? Lady in red. <laughs> Is the guy still singing? Have you found your shoe yet? Mm -mm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Look straight at me. I want you to think real hard. Do you have any idea where the shoe is? Look straight at me. Any idea at all? Come on. They think you're faking. Any idea at all where the shoe is? If I offered you $500, would you tell me where the shoe was? Think about it. No idea at all? Absolutely no idea? I'm going to touch your forehead. Boy, are you going to be surprised. <laughs> Why couldn't she find her shoe? Why didn't you guys see the gorilla? That's called a negative hallucination right before your very eyes and yet you don't see it. You've tuned it out. It actually is indicative of a very high degree of concentration. It shows that if she wants to, she can simply ignore something to the point of tuning it right out. Mind if we do a little test? Are you by any chance in sales? Yes. Good, good, good. What motivates salespeople? Money. Who thinks money motivates salespeople? Well, if money really motivated salespeople, there'd be no such things as call reluctance. You'd all have your name on that board out there. You'd all be doing fabulously well in terms of money. 
Money is a motivator, but it's not a good one. If money was a motivator, there'd be no call reluctance, there'd be no fear of rejection, there'd be no problems going out there and visiting the brokers more regularly. I mean, let's face it, money's a motivator, but only to a certain point. Let's see what that point is. Birthday, huh? Congratulations. Would you pick one of those lights? Let's do a little test. Think money motivates yourself, huh? Tell you what, I'll give you $10 if you can stay awake for 10 continuous seconds. You take as long as you want to get ready and you nod your head when you want the 10 second clock to start and we'll see if money motivates you. Fair enough? Yeah. Okay, take as long as you need, just give me a nod so that I can know when the clock is starting. Whatever you want to do, just let me know when the 10 seconds is going to start. Yeah. Beautiful, sleep, deep sleep, all the way down. Five, four, three, two, one, eyes wide whoa, so money, $10 didn't do it. Tell you what, we'll make it 50 bucks. 50 bucks if you can stay awake for 10 continuous seconds. Sounds like an easy thing to do, doesn't it? Yeah. Take as long as you need, let me know, nod your head when you're ready. Beautiful, sleep way down deep. Five, four, three, two, eyes, whoop, eyes wide open. Now we're going to do something a little bit different. <clears throat> Tell you what, we'll make it 200 bucks. Nice, ha handy little sum, be a cute little business. Yeah, you can go out there, put it in a machine, maybe make 20,000 out of it, right? Okay. okay, take as long as you need, do whatever you want, let me know when you're really, really trying. Beautiful, sleep, deep sleep, all the way down, all the way, five, four, three, two, oh, eyes wide open, count of five, one, two, oh, that didn't motivate him very much, so. People say that people are motivated to keep what they've got, not to get something better. Let's do it in reverse. Tell you what, let's make a bet. I'll bet you $200. Now here's what that means. If you stay awake continuously for 10 seconds, I owe you 200, but if you lose, you owe me 200. Are you prepared to take that bet? Yeah. Would you shake on it? No. <laughs> All right, well, I want you to really consider this a bet, though, okay? I want you to try as hard as you possibly can to stay awake. I'm trying to generate a lesson here, and the idea would be money does not motivate people. Nod your head when you want the 10 seconds to start. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Eyes wide open. I've got videos of offering people thousands of dollars. Money doesn't motivate people. Well, don't kid yourself. Here's what motivates you, a true belief in what you're doing, a, a, real, a real inspiration. If you truly believe you're helping people, if you're protecting them with this, with this financial product, that'll motivate you. I'm not gonna shoot you, I'm gonna shoot that wall. But it's gonna ricochet off that wall, it's gonna hit the back wall, it's gonna ricochet off the side wall, then it's gonna come straight at you and put you into a deep hypnotic sleep. But you don't believe that either, do you? Sounds like a bunch, doesn't it? Does? Watch, ready? <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. Oh, little man is sitting on your shoulder. Visualization. The images you carry inside your head really, 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 really are important. Waking, wide awake, wide awake, all the suggestions removed, feeling fantastic in every way, and five, all of this applause is for these guys. These guys were terrific.